Hello, my name's Gail Park, and this is my first video that I've made specifically for YouTube. I'd like to use it to introduce some one of the things that I'd like to do with this channel since I've started it. Uh, I have been studying the sacred circles, the wheels of power and connection, or some of you might know it as the Native American medicine wheel, but this is a Celtic version, which I hope would also be applicable to everybody else in its basics. Uh, I want to eventually cover uh, a lot of concepts about the wheel. I've been studying it since about the year 2000, and I've learned quite a bit. I'm looking for a way to share that knowledge, and I thought that this would be a good way. You won't have to pay anything for it, and everybody benefits, and I enjoy doing it. So what I'd like to start out with today, though, is uh, a reading from a Native American source, because I think it's so beautiful. It's uh, called The Circle of Life by Black Elk. Black Elk was a uh, Native American uh, Sioux, Oglala Sioux, holy man and visionary. And this little uh, thing called The Circle of Life comes from his book, Black Elk Speaks. I don't have it memorized, so I'm going to have to read it. <clears throat> you have noticed that everything an Indian does is in a circle, and it is because the power of the world always works in circles, and everything tries to be round. In the old days, all our power came to us from the sacred hoop of the nation, and so long as the hoop was unbroken, the people flourished. The flowering tree was at the center of the hoop, and the circle of the four quarters nourished it. The east gave peace and light, the south gave warmth, and the west gave rain. And the north, with its cold and mighty wind, gave strength and endurance. This knowledge came to us from the outer world with our religion. Everything the power of the world does is in a circle. The sky is round, and I have heard the earth is round like a ball and so are all the stars. The wind, its greatest power, whirls. Birds make their nests in circles, for their religion is the same as ours. The sun comes forth and goes down in a circle. The moon does the same, and both are round. Even the seasons form a great circle in their changing and always come back again to where they were. The life of a man is a circle from childhood to childhood, and so it is in everything where power moves. Our teepees are round like the nests of birds, and these were always set in a circle. The nation's hoop, a nest of many nests, where the Great Spirit meant for us to hatch our children. That's a beautiful thing, and I think it's a good introduction to, to what the, the, the heart of the, of the Native American medicine wheel and of sacred circles in general is all about. So stick with me. I hope you're going to enjoy it for all my relations. <clears throat> 